The University of Arizona's financial woes may be getting worse after the U.S. Department of Education said it wants the university to pay $72 million. That's because the department cleared millions of dollars in student debt from an online university that U of A had bought. 12 News journalist William Pitts explains what this means and what happens next. The University of Arizona may be facing a massive bill as the feds may want them to pay back $72 million. Ashford University was supposed to make a ton of money. Instead, it could cost the University of Arizona millions. U of A bought the for-profit online university in 2020 and turned it into the U of A global campus. By 2023, Ashford's parent company was out of business and the U.S. Department of Education had forgiven $72 million in loan debt from students who had been, in their words, cheated by Ashford University. Now the feds want that money back and they want U of A to pay it. A Department of Education spokesman told 12 News today, we're in the process of initiating the recoupment action, which has not yet gone to U of A global campus. Arizona taxpayers involved here, but Arizona taxpayers are also federal taxpayers like the rest of us. And, uh, and there are costs here that should be recouped if they can be recouped. Bob Shireman has been following the saga of Ashford University for decades now. He's a former deputy undersecretary of education for the Obama administration. I'm not surprising at all that it's turning out to be more of a problem than they had hoped. Because Ashford University's problem started way before U of A bought it. From an ethical perspective, I think it's a deeply disturbing model. Back in 2011, the U.S. Senate held a hearing about for-profit colleges. Ashford's parent company at the time was the main subject. I have over 700 student complaints, student complaints received by Bridgepoint. Thirteen years after that hearing, the University of Arizona is looking at a $177 million budget shortfall and now possibly an additional $72 million. Governor Katie Hobbs is due to meet with the Board of Regents in the next few days. They'll hear from me what I need to continue to see, and um, I'm hopeful we can move forward. Earlier this week, the university's president, Robert Robbins, got a 10 percent pay cut, but is keeping his job. It's certainly a step in the right direction. Uh, I think we need to see more uh, in terms of cost-cutting measures. A U of A spokesperson sent a statement saying, in part, the University of Arizona is not responsible for the actions of Ashford University. But the U.S. Department of Education will almost certainly disagree. William Pitts, 12 News.